as you've heard, welcome back to Lego Fortnite. Today, we're playing with a brand new costume here, Adventure Peely. This one is so cool, he's like a banana dude. He's all dressed up to go on a banana adventure. So, so awesome. Before we get too into today's episode, I do wanna clean up this area. We had this old track here before, but we've cleaned it up quite a lot. There's a lot of materials we need to get to continue improving our village, but also on top of that, this is gonna fall out. <laughs> on top of that, we need to go into the caves, get some more knot root and marble. Um, just to really elevate all of our stuff. I'm hoping that after that we can maybe make our first ever um, green axe. I think we'll be in a position to do that. And then with that, we can of course knock out cactus. So that'll be really cool. That'll give us like flex wood and stuff. That'll be really exciting for sure. And grab all of that run over here and like take a look to make sure that's actually the case. Cause we have our brand new uh, forest ax. I guess it's not green, but uh, the, the pickaxe is green. This is not green. It would need cut amber, not root rot. So we actually might be able to make that right now. Take all of these and then take all this. Sure, why not? Do we have enough not root? We do. Okay, so take maybe half of those. We can already make our brand new ax right here. The forest ax, a sturdy ax made from Bone, okay, wrong one. Um, This one, yeah. A strong ax crafted from amber. Make a few trees and even more enemies fall with one of these. Awesome, I definitely wanna make one or two of these. I mean, these are mostly going to be for the cactus. I'm gonna save it for that because that should be our source of flex wood if I'm not mistaken. But then um, for this pickaxe, that's where things get a little bit more complicated. We need flex wood rods. So we need that new type of wood that we don't currently have. So that'll be my goal for later today. In the meantime though, you can see our inventory does need a little bit of organization. So it's something I'll be working on throughout today as much as we can. Um, and hopefully we can just really get some stuff going. So definitely we'll be trying to head to the new area to get some of that stuff done. But there's other things I still wanna build. Things like the loom, which needs flex wood and the uh, essence table. All that stuff is definitely worth adding on to, but obviously we're running out of room in this one. I think that's where we want to change things up a little bit and maybe make another one of these buildings over here. So another pleasant pavilion. To do that, of course, we are going to need to, I guess we could like plot it out eventually. We would need 18 gravel, but um, to do that, we would need in total just a bunch of granite and wood. So I figure what we'll do is with what we currently have, which you know is a lot of good stuff, I should be able to head over towards one of our caves. The closest cave is not too far to the right of here. I think I'll pick up whatever wood and stuff I can find along the way, and that really should be our best situation. So yeah, I'll do this to get some more food in our tummies. Actually, I should probably go pick up the rest of it, but you know, our, our town's looking a lot nicer. We have a lot better stuff, so I think we're just in a position to just go, go, go. So there we go, got some of that stuff. Let's run back over here and get things going. So it was in this direction, you can sort of see it over there. Whatever we can find in terms of wood or granite along the way, we just need to pick up until we have like this whole inventory filled with nice stuff. That's basically today's goal. Getting a lot of the basics built back up so that we can build some more stuff. So if I can get a lot of wood like this, that's always good. Probably wanna work on the bigger trees though because they should, I think, give us a bigger amount of wood, I would hope. So you can see that really big one over there. I should probably work on chopping that down. We might run into some enemies over here too. Getting these guys is probably still good, but I don't have to worry with a lot of the other kinds of enemies. All right. Ooh, okay, ready? Boom, gotcha. Go ahead and grab that shell and the granite on the floor. We're getting a lot closer to the cave as we pick all this stuff up. Let's work on knocking down this big tree. This should be at least fun, is to see this thing fall over. And obviously with our new pickaxe, like this does three each. If I wanted to try it really fast, just see, this does five each. So it should make you know chopping down everything a bit faster, but since it's sort of more of a precious material for the time being, we should save it for when we have an abundance of the resources to craft it with. Right now the green tier um, tools will be enough. And since I haven't too often, let's go ahead and pet a couple of cows to get some milk. Could always use some more of that, right? It's gonna be used for the milkshakes and the juicer and stuff. So go ahead and get some of that. I have the inventory space for it, so I might as well just make the most out of it. And the cave is over there. I can already see it in the distance. The thing I'm just not running into a lot is much gravel or granite or whatever. So just picking up the small rocks along the way might be the big difference maker so we can find a good source of them. I see more over there, but that's in the cold biome where everything becomes awful and I, I don't like going near there. Um, and then there's the other, hi guys. 
Got a whole crowd here. Um, there's the other cave over there. Maybe I'll poke my hand in that one because there is actually a couple of rocks of granite over there that I can definitely grab. For right now, I'm just really picking up everything I'm finding on the floor. Okay, grab this one. So many enemies around here. Okay, you're gonna roll towards me. Honestly, I think if we could get them to roll into a rock, it should instantly destroy it, but I don't know if I wanna go through all that effort at the moment. Okay, over here then. There's so many of these rocks on the floor, it's crazy. It really is like the best way to get grounded is just to pick this stuff up one at a time. Even if it is a little bit cumbersome at times. Can you guys get out of here? Thank you. I don't think I need the silk too much, but I'll grab a little bit more of it. Okay, I can still use the wood on the floor too, but this ground is already at the 31. We need over like 100 of it though, right? If we take a look again, I need 52 and 40. Actually, not too bad then. But we're gonna be going into the cave to get even more stuff soon enough either way. So, let's get over here. And I guess I'll fight you. Okay, mister, get out of here. You better run. No, you're back? Right when I turn around. Don't appreciate it. I will, wait, not this, but this one right over here. Let's try to use up the rest of our pickaxe, just like that. Okay, so if that's about all the granite I need to build that one structure, I should save the rest of my pickaxe for the marble specifically. I think that'd be a good idea. We do need more knot root, but not as much as we need more marble. So over here somewhere should be the entrance of this cave. I'm gonna hop in and we're just gonna earn up all the granite and marble we could ever ask for. And we also have, you know, a sword that doesn't have too much durability, so I'll have to be careful with how we are near skeletons. We can put this in my other equip and then we can just get going. Um, so starting over here, I see a lot of these. That's the wrong weapon. Wait, no, come on, switch over. Let's just get as much marble as possible wherever I can reach it. Okay, got it. I don't know if I'll be able to reach this stuff. Doesn't seem like it. I could build a platform up there, but I'll save it for, usually there's enough marble around all over the place that I don't have to worry about the stuff I can't reach. I see a skeleton walking around over there. Hopefully they don't notice me. They might eventually, but right now, I'm just working on this anyways. But yeah, definitely the priority is marble, and then afterwards, we'll focus on not root. And that's a good idea. Okay, very cool. So we're already up to 28 of it. That's a good thing. It's, it's a fairly productive source, like one marble little, I guess, geode or whatever you might want to call it. Holds a lot. So, whoa, that's good. Here, get rid of you as much as I can. Excellent, that's the wrong kind of pickaxe. I think the skeleton dropped that one. I can use that for a couple of the normal uh, granite, that'll be good. I always wanna call it gravel for some reason. Almost have this broken. We're about halfway through this pickaxe already, which is nice that we're making that much progress. Okay, switch over to this. Since it's here, I'm just gonna make my way down this wall a little bit. And got it. Okay, so. Over here, just gonna knock this down. Go. Over here, more of the same deal. And there we go. So that's a lot of marble, already 52 of it, and we can definitely get more up here. Nobody's fighting me, which is good. Can I reach this one though? I don't think I can. We'll find another cluster of it that's easier to reach then. There's gonna be plenty of it around, I think probably on this side. There's a treasure chest over here which we've very likely have probably opened. So I should probably just destroy it so I know. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> don't wanna deal with ya. Okay, so go over here, get this like this and then, oh no, this has some stuff and has a free torch. The wool I don't really need, the bones I also don't need, so I'm just gonna keep all that there. Maybe I could just break this then. And then, oh wow. Well that, okay, that stuff does drop. I was like, does it destroy, does it get destroyed? If I destroy the chest? Looks like it doesn't, so that's good to know. Okay, so I got all of that, and then get rid of you. Awesome. Where is there more marble? There's gotta be some around somewhere, so. Get rid of the scorpion. 
It's a lot stronger than a, just a skeleton. I mean, just a skeleton, just a spider. Hmm. Still having a hard time reaching a lot of this stuff. I think this is where, you know, I just get a staircase. We also have an, a pleasant stairs, but I'd rather have this. Go. Okay, you gotta go. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay, so back to this. I don't need to be in build mode anymore. We're high enough up, right, that I can reach this stuff, please? Really? Really, really? Come on. <laughs> so silly. All right, try here. I am hungry, so I guess we will throw a torch down so I can do this, and eat up some food. Well, I can still sort of see a little bit. This should fill me up all the way. There we go, just about. Pick that back up and get to mining. Now I can reach this stuff, right? There we go, that's all I'm asking for. So we'll get some more marble. Get some more over here too. This is, you know, a stack and then some of marble so far. Some of it gets all over the ground, so I will just pick all of that up. And eventually this stuff does, you know, respawn, so that's at least good. I still can't reach that one, so I'll leave it for now. Uh, and if I have a beat up pickaxe like this one, I can use that to break this stuff just for normal gravel or granite. There we go. I can also do this one. I know it's about to break, but guess what? I have more because we fight a lot of skeletons. So I'm really getting better at least making the most out of the materials we're running into. I really rather not fall down there. I mean, I guess it's actually easy to get back up. It's just right over here. Okay. More not root then. Just like this. Got it. And hi. I'm a little bit worried my sword's gonna break against you. It didn't, but it might against you. Ah, there it goes. Just punch you down. <laughs> Do the rest of it the old fashioned way. Punch this one away. I don't know if that stuff will eventually despawn. I'd imagine it would. And then I'll just try to break this as much as I can. Yeah, there it goes. Do I have any more? I don't. So I could do maybe one more. And then back to marble. I'm surprised by the, the, the struggle I'm having with finding more marble. Uh, I guess I could do this one. I could just do another staircase like that. That should definitely reach. There we go. All right, well, not gonna complain that the staircase works, the staircase works. It's worth the amount of wood it costs, for sure. Okay, back to here. Get some knot root, and then I need to make another one over there. And that should be the rest of this pickaxe worth of stuff. So that's overall pretty darn good. Grabbing all of this then, back over here. Actually, let me do the one with the platform, because it's the same amount of wood anyways. And I will pick this up. Is this the only the entrance we came in from? I can't tell. Okay, back to mining this. I think this is probably gonna be the last one. We might be able to get another one after. I'm doubtful. There we go, perfect. Awesome, I'll take what I can get then. That was what? Uh, it looks like a stack and a half of marble, a full stack of granite, not a ton of knot root, so if I wanted to run around and try to find a couple more pieces. No, I could. Not the end of the world though, if we don't get too much more. Probably wanna get it right about here, right? So, go like this. Here we go. And, we got it. So, there is that done. I need to make another one over here. Trading two wood for one knot root, or for a couple of knot root, definitely seems like a fun conversion to me, so I don't mind going out of the way for it. But with this one done, I think I've gotten my fill of it. We can always come back or go into another uh, area for more knot root. Oh, but this one's right by the exit. I might as well. Uh, next time I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna be like, wow, there's staircases everywhere. But I, if I'm, if we're lucky, maybe they'll spawn back in in these spots and I won't have to make a staircase next and that'd make it way easier, you know? Okay, that was a lot. Now we have a lot more not root, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll head out of here and we'll go back home. Okay, so we're just heading back home now. If I see any more things that might be interesting to grab on the way back, at the least, you know, I could probably grab like more wool from a sheep, but at the same time, I think I have a lot, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, mostly just granite on the floor, I think is the number one thing I need to look out for in this biome that I can get just traveling from place to place. So, oh, the, the spider was under there. Scary, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, run over here, grab this one too. 
and I think that's about it. Okay, seems good to me. So I think that would be, from the get-go, uh, enough materials to build another manor. I would need more wood. Okay, oh yeah, because I used a lot of it <laughs> to uh, actually make the, the platforms. I forgot about that. So that shouldn't be too bad. If I knock like this tree down, I think that'd be more than enough. So we'll get over there. Just might have to fight away a spider or two first. Get you, get you. And then let's get this tree. And then that way we have plenty more space to set up more facilities. That would be fantastic. Okay. And got it. Huge log over here rolling away. I don't think I'm done with you yet. And when this one breaks, I can just switch to the next one, but that's not even gonna be now. Uh, that was 38, so I probably need another big tree right over here. All right, working on this one a bit more. Let's switch over. And after that, I will, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not good. Be careful of that. I guess when things roll around, it could be really dangerous. Got it. That's a lot more. That's up to 55 of them. I think that would be enough for everything. So as we're walking back, I will grab some more, but I think we're all wrapped up for the most part. Ooh, grab this one. Look at all the little bits of wood and ground it over here. It is truly all over the place. There we go. So back over here we go. And this time for real, I should have everything I need to build it. Now I wanna be really careful here because I wanna get it as close over here as possible. But unfortunately it looks like I can't build it like right against for some reason. I'm actually really confused on why that one it just, how can I nudge it upward, you know? If I did snapping, doesn't really work that way. I mean, right here maybe it's because the trees are in the way. So let me try destroying these. That might make it easier. Come on. Got it. And then these two for sure. Almost through with both of these axes. So I'll definitely have to make more of the green tools, but just enough to get me by. And then we can just upgrade to a better material soon. It's really exciting that we're sort of getting there. Got it. Pick up all of these and see for myself. Is that gonna actually help it be enough? How far out does it have to be? Why is this, okay, that works, but not over here? Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, here we go. That's the closest I can, that's exactly where I want it. So I just need to maybe make a little platform to like transfer over, but I just wanted to get them as close and connected as possible. So we just had to build this one now, which I think I can build this one faster than I did the first one, I would hope. Uh, now that I'm a little bit more used to how to do this one. Get this here, get that there, and then these pillars, one, two, three, and four. Same thing with this, one, two, three, four. Now we got the archways. And the pavilion. Uh, archways here. Got it. We're making good progress. I got the speed run record. <laughs> We're building this building. There we go. And then just the corner pieces to it. And obviously, it's, it's a pretty simple building to make. And then two more there. Got it, got it. And I think that's just about everything, just like the roof details, the very tippity top of it. Doesn't go there, that goes on the other side. Way over that way, and this one here. And we're done. That's our second pleasant pavilion. I think it'll be well worth the, the work. So I do need to make like a couple of bricks maybe here, just to make this a little bit easier to jump through, if not anything else. I know it's a little awkward regardless, but it just helps a little bit. Okay, so now that I'm doing that, I should be able to exit build mode, go over here. I know I just put this here, so I'm gonna punch it down. I think it might actually be faster to 
Uh, if I had a pickaxe, it would be, but I guess I just gotta punch it down normally. But I wanna put it in there and then get more chests figured out in that room too. But that way, it's sort of just easier to make things work, I think. There we go, so I should be able to get all my stuff back. Seems like I did. Just gotta jump up here, and we're going back to it. So, crafting bench, put it as much in the corner as I possibly can, and first, upgrade. So, upgrade this one, just like we did before. That should get it from normal to uncommon, and then from uncommon to rare. And I don't think we can do from rare to epic, but there we go, we're in a much better spot now. When it comes to more chests, I don't know how many more I can actually feasibly build. I could make a couple more marble slabs. We got a lot of marble, but for right now, I'll just organize my inventory really fast. Uh, I guess more wood there will do the trick. I can keep this one with me, put that there, and then here. The marble should be going over here like this. That's pretty good. The granite can go over there too. It's not a ton left over after building that stuff, but. It's something. And then back over this way. I think this one, yeah, has the monster pieces. I really gotta stop collecting. <laughs> I really have to stop collecting bones. It's just too many. The milk, I think, yeah, is in here. The shells go into this one. And then I think we're mostly organized here. Just like that. All right, so with that all figured out, and get some extra food here and try to figure out what I want for here. So I'll need to make more marble slabs, right? So I think I could probably just take this whole stack and then maybe about half of that and then put that over here. Yeah, make the marble slab and then just go, go, go. Fill that up as much as we can, make a whole bunch of it. And we'll use that, of course, to just make a few more chests over here. Eventually, we're gonna need it. Plumbing though, <laughs> we got the, that's so crazy. We got a sink, a toilet, a bathtub. Eventually we'll make some like high tier building like that that has all the amenities. But for right now I'm mostly focused on the actual utility stuff. That's all decoration. I don't think your character actually needs to go to the bathroom luckily. But uh, is there anything more I need to do here? I think that for the most part we're good. I need to make the loom but that's where we need to go get flexwood. So I think that'll be our next goal. Now that I got all this situated, I could maybe make a couple of planks in the mill. I mean, actually I have more planks I know what to do with. Uh, okay, what I do need though is more of our axes and stuff. So let me make sure I don't have any. Doesn't seem like I do. So I can at least make a bunch of extra stuff there. I do need more food though. So boom, boom, eat that up. We feel a lot better, and I can cook two more and get these tools made. So for the tools, what did I need? Over there, I guess I gotta walk over. over. That's sort of the one thing, it's a little inconvenient, but I need for a forest ax, green. Bone, wooden rod. So I'm just gonna get all that six bone, six wooden rod, six not root, six bone. Okay, that should be pretty easy to do. Let's get back over here, get this whole stack. So we're getting to a position where at least this is pretty easy. I do need to make more not root stuff. So I will take, I guess that whole thing. I don't need to make that many, but get over here, not root, make that my recipe. And I think like a good 20 of them should be good. Yep, okay. So I don't need anything from here, but in here I can at the least put these back and then I guess put this here. All right, it works for now. Um, that should give us everything we're really after, I think. Oh, you know what? I should cook some of this too. So change recipe, so I have all that. Things are looking good if you ask me. I'll go ahead and put this stuff in there, just like that. I guess I don't need the other treasure chest just yet, but this should be enough materials to at the least make a brand new forest ax and then we'll make a second one. And then same deal with the pickaxe, make a double set of the pickaxes. And then I guess if there's anything more I need to make here, it's just gonna be another sword, which just needs more not root rods, which, what do you know? That's what we're working on here. So I'll make two swords as well. 
don't think we can upgrade our shield now. Oh, there's another health charm. I didn't notice this before. What do we need for this one? Because this will add three health. If we can make two of these at some point, that'd be huge. We need wool thread, cut amber, sand claw, flex wood. Once again, it always comes back to flex wood. So I'm definitely going to head back and just get as much flex wood and amber as possible. Those are definitely the big goal. So here's a knot root rod longsword. And I just need one more. So if I could just get over here like that, this is going pretty well. We get back over here. I make, what was it, another sword. And then I could maybe work on another recurve crossbow. Because I do have one of these. I don't have a lot of arrows. That's the thing I should make, a bunch of arrows. Because that was apparently an update they made, is that originally you can only hold up the 50 arrows per stack, but now you can do 80, which is really nice. Okay, got that there. Back over here. Recurve crossbow. Okay, so I just need wood and feathers. And I don't have any, I know I do have some arrows in here. So maybe I will deposit just one, just for the sake of organization. But feathers, take like 15 of them, get a decent like half stack of wood. I mean, I guess how many, however many feathers I have, I think it's one to one. So I can do that, get back over here, and we can make a ton of arrows. Even if I don't take all of these with me, it's nice to have them now so I don't have to build them later. So I'll get this all figured out and then we will move on. I think we'll be finally good to go get some flex wood. Okay, so I'm gonna get some extra materials from everybody who's been working. Just like this, thank you. And then I think there were some more people over here. Looks like, oh wait, Silas, yeah, you're back. Hi, you wanna join our village? Because we do have an extra bed. Um, always a pleasure. I uh, live in my village. A spot just for me, that could be nice. Yep, we have an extra bed, make yourself at home. But, we're not done. Um, let's talk jobs. Uh, well, we could have them explore with us. You know what, we haven't really had an explorer come with us. Uh, let's see if Silas could be a good travel partner. I think so. So, um, Okay, I'm talking to you through the door, but as long as you can give me my wooden rods, I'm happy about it, thank you. So yeah, let me just organize my inventory one more time then. I did check this, we don't nearly have enough stuff to upgrade the village, but that's what we're going to go and solve. Because like I said before, my number one goal for the time being is just flex wood and amber. I think that's absolutely some stuff we can get here. So let's see, uh, I'll put that in here, get this here, and I just need to put the bones away, right over in this direction. Awesome, I think we're as ready as we're going to get. I will maybe just get this a bit more organized like this. We have our second sword over here too, the recurve crossbow, just in case we need it, that was weird. Um, I guess it loaded it, interesting. Um, and should I make a second sword? No, I have a second sword, maybe a second crossbow? What do I need for a second crossbow? Um, not rod draw string. I can do that. Um, back over here. Maybe I can't. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm making more over here. Hi, Silas. Give me one second. I'll go ahead and get the thing over here just because it's getting dark again. And what else? Draw string is the easy part for sure because I have, well, I say that, but I only have one more piece. There you go. So let's get that done, get back over here, and boom, make a second recurve crossbow. We are all suited up to just go and get a ton of stuff. That is really cool, very, very exciting for sure. I will not talk to Silas for now. Silas, I think you're really cool, and it's really fun to have you here, but I don't wanna talk to you all the time. I wanna get stuff done. Uh, There we go, that seems pretty good to me. I think at this point, the only other thing I'd wanna do, spinning wheel, uh, how do I make more drawstring? I make more cord. To make more cord, I need to use vines. Let's do that. Just while we're gone, that can be happening. So cord, change recipe, fill that up all the way. Cool, we're on our adventure then. We're heading out of here and we're gonna go all the way to the desert. I've made this trip a million times. I don't think it's very interesting at this point. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So we have finally made it back to the desert and with it, as you can see in the distance, there's a golem or whatever it's called uh, that I want to try to avoid. <laughs> but 
we're in the land of many, many cacti, where I should, in theory, just be able to go like this, go like this, and then boom, 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 and look at this. Will we get flex wood from this? That's my big question. It takes a while to knock these down, but I do indeed, whoa, get flex wood, and we get um, three recipes, including flex wood rod. Awesome. Let's try to get to a safer spot where maybe not as many monsters will be attacking me. And then we're just gonna keep going with this. We also get the night shield, uncommon tool, whoa. That's pretty cool. Oh, did you have something to say? Good day. Uh, we could be standing on some ancient fossils right now. How hard is that? Uh, take this. Oh, I can give them something to help them maybe handle this a little bit more. Uh, for right now, I won't, but good to know. I should probably craft them extra stuff so that they can destroy materials more easily. They don't have the material to actually destroy this one, so I guess they can't help me too much with it. But that's why I got two axes, just so that I can do it myself. But, um, and dynamic foundation is another thing we unlocked. So, really my goal from here, the small wheel, whoa! Okay, so now we can actually make like vehicles and stuff. But, yeah, for my, my goal from here is just going to be, no, no, no. Uh, getting as much of the cacti as possible. So I could make my way closer to my village area just to, you know, improve my chances of uh, being able to get situated if I need to. I guess one thing I should do since I'm here is to set my spawn point so that if the worst happens and I perish to some kind of crazy monster or happenstance, I don't have to run all the way back over here again and burn a bunch of my time. So let's sprint low energy, I know. Where is my bed at? Uh, right over here, right? There we go, we'll get some rest. And right back to it. Let's knock down some more of this. So yeah, it seems a little bit uncomplicated in a way, but we're just gonna get as much of this flex wood as possible. I'm really curious about those like little bundles of smaller cacti, if they're worth diving into or if it's just better to just get this stuff. Okay, if I run over here. Luckily, the durability is really good. We've already gotten, what, 18 of them, and I've barely made a, like, a notch in it. A dry wood found in the dry valley, sun-baked timber. So cool. So yeah, like this stuff over here, is this worth chipping away at? Would this get me the same thing? Yeah, it does give me the same thing, but it's a big cluster of it, so at the least, I don't have to run around as much, and that could be good. So, keep destroying some more of it. Okay. And yeah, I guess I'll just sort of chop down this whole thing. There's not too much more for me to say about it, but this is still such, it seems you know very simple because it's just me knocking down wood, but this is such a monumental step forward for everything we need to do. If I can get just as many stacks as possible, I'm literally going to just get two full axes worth of all this stuff. It will make such a huge difference, and that's super exciting. So there's a little bit of an update here. As you can see, we've gotten about half of my ax used up, and I have almost, like I have what? Yeah, holds 50, so I have more than a stack and a half worth. That's crazy, because that just means that if I can get at least, oh no, a stack worth of, or two stacks worth of things per ax, that means I can get four stacks of flex with just out of the axes I have right now. I think it'll actually end up being more than that. So yeah, got some really good possibilities here if I just keep swinging. Ow, okay, I'm cold now. So another little update is that I gave Silas my other ax just because this does seem to be a little bit more productive. And look at us go, we're up to 212 flexwood. Maybe it might seem a little excessive to get this much, but the fact that I have to travel this much to get to the desert biome for now, I think this is absolutely worth it. We're just gonna get as much as we possibly can. That way we don't have to worry about it for again for a really long time. Finding those big patches of cacti like this one, but you know, some of the other ones we've seen before, is definitely the way to go though. I'll keep destroying these as much as I can. Actually, that didn't, that drop any? I don't think it did. Okay, leave that one be, Silas. We will go over here, and I'll keep working on this, but as you can see, it's just, it's so much flex wood. I cannot wait to make cool new stuff with this. Another thing I'll note is that I gave Silas that ax when it had just about as much durability, if not less, than mine currently does, when mine was full. And I noticed that his isn't breaking. I wonder if the familiars, or just you know, our friends here, Will they not have their weapons break on them? If that's the case, then I guess what would be strategically advantaged is if I just give them one that's like just about to break, that's only a few swings away from breaking. Then I give it to them and I start using a fresh one. That'd be really good to keep in mind. But for right now, we almost have all of this. I'm trying to get it done before the sun goes down and then we'll pick it all up. I don't think it's gonna disappear, so I think we're all right. But we're doing a really good job. We're almost at 300 flexwood. 
That is definitely gonna be enough for us to build basically whatever we want for a really long time. And then by the time it's not, by the time we use all this flex wood, I think we will be able to, of course, just uh, go back and get some more with all the new materials we'll be able to get from this. So I think overall it's a great idea. We've been doing good. I'm almost through with this ax. I mean, at this point, like, I could just, yeah, get all of this. This stuff has so much durability though. I'm really impressed with just how long this ax lasts. It's almost nighttime though, so I might try to find like one more patch of cacti like that and then be done. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the amount of flex wood we got. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pepper just so that I have more hunger, but more than that, I just don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm going to drop a lot of the stuff we don't need because it's filling up my inventory fast. Um, I definitely wanna keep gravel for sure, but all of this flex wood, look at how much we have. It is insane how much we have now, but we're not quite done. I wanna now basically do the same thing with trying to get amber. I have this pickaxe here, which maybe I can give to you. I go like this, talk to Silas, uh, take this. Let's see, gift pickaxe, what is it, what is it, what is it? It is a pickaxe, here you go. This will be useful, thank you. Do I get my axe back that I gave you? I guess not, I guess you just keep that forever. Um, that's okay because we got this other pickaxe here and basically we're gonna do the same thing, but this time with Amber. So I don't know if I do one of these geyser jumps, will Silas be able to keep up with me? Um, so that's maybe actually where I should really quick get a couple of trees or just a couple of logs however I can um, and try to build my way up there. I don't know. There might be just some other Amber, especially by my house over there, so, or the village over there. So we'll just try to get some Amber now the same way we've been doing with the cacti and hopefully be able to come home with a bunch of Amber and Flexwood. So basically the rest of my inventory, I'm hoping to fill that up with Amber the same way we did with Flexwood. So let's get back over here as we have before. I'll knock down this tree really quickly. Cause it seems like bears don't break. He's basically had that ax for as long as I've had mine and I haven't seen a break at all. So that's really crazy to keep in mind is that their stuff doesn't break. Okay, so will they get up here? That's the question I have. Cause like now, okay, he will eventually teleport over to me. That's perfect to know. Um, I will just for the sake of this being easier, I will build a second staircase here just like that. And then maybe I just keep up with that. Just like that. And then maybe just one more. Once again, just to make this easier for me. Got it. Cool, and Silas is right behind me. So this is where we can get to mining some amber. And will Silas come over here? Here's open. I think he might be stuck. I mean, I gave him a pickaxe, so I just, I don't know if he's gonna, it might be a little bit too high up is the problem, but. Do I have, the, I don't have the wood for this. So we'll just have to make do with what we have now. I mean, I guess I could get some wood from this. If I could get up there. <laughs> there we go. That would just be one piece of wood though, unfortunately. Let me grab that, please. There we go. And then grab this one. Just one more staircase to get to the other piece of amber a little bit more easily would be great. Uh, Just like this. Perfect. We're basically making scaffolding. It's super useful. And will Silas help with this one? If I give him space to actually get up here, yes. So that's great. And maybe this one? It looks like for most of it, if he can't reach it, he doesn't bother. He doesn't look like he likes to uh, look up. Oh, I broke it, darn. Um, Gotta be careful of that, but that's okay. That's that area cleared out. We can go over here and just do the same thing on this side. And this one, Silas can definitely help out with a whole lot more, so. Whoa, wait a minute, we can destroy this too? Huh, interesting. Didn't even realize. Just carved into the side of the mountain there a little bit, but I seem to keep going with the amber specifically. Some of it fell down there, so let's make sure we don't forget about that. But look at this, we make a little group here and we're just able to really make things happen. So I wonder if I got, can I get more than one friend to follow us or can it only be one at a time? You know, that's my big question now. Hi Silas. Uh, I wanna get this gravel. I can just run over it. Okay, that works pretty well then. I don't think there's any more down here, but actually there is right over there. So we'll get to that soon enough, but for right now, I'm gonna break this one. I don't know if Silas is gonna come over to me or not, but he's gonna keep destroying this stuff, and sooner or later we'll have a lot more amber. Of course, we're trying to turn this into cut amber, which can build all sorts of things, it seems. So definitely worth chipping away at. There you go. Is there any more on this mountainside? None that I can see, except for the stuff that was down here. This is where I gotta be careful, because that one giant 
brute, they're called, um, was over here, yeah, right on the side. Might be a little tricky to reach, so this might be once again, where I do something like this, and I, oop. Yeah, Salus is not gonna be able to reach this one. Very unfortunate, but also not too unexpected. Okay, grab some of this, and we're almost through with this pickaxe. I don't have any more because I gave Silas the other one and it doesn't look like I can get them back anyway. I mean, maybe I could ask him. That would be as simple as that, but we'll find out soon enough. Well, I'm definitely not getting as much amber as I was getting flexwood. Amber seems to be a harder earn than flexwood is. Can I get this one? I can, awesome. So definitely just try to break this up a little bit more. And we got it, it's gonna fall all the way down though. Not very pleasant to get to, but I get three more. So we're up to a total of 24. It's something. So I don't know if I have much of a, you know, room left in my pickaxe for too much more anyways. This is where I should ask Silas. Can I get my stuff back? Um, I'm here to check, I guess not. Uh, just toss it their way if you're being chased and it'll distract them. So the brutes are distracted by meat. Alternatively, if you enjoy carrying around loose meat, I don't have any advice for you. <laughs> Interesting. See, what if I did this? Would this trigger Silas to, no, use his? I guess not. Um, Cool, so I could maybe get a couple more cacti. See, that doesn't drop any, it's so weird. Uh, it is what it is. We got a lot here. It wasn't a ton of amber, but that's all my pickaxe could yield for me. So I think with this, we just head home, we, we put this all away, and we start building with some of it. That'd be amazing. All right, we are finally back home. It took a lot of work to get here, but while we're here, we might as well see. Oh, you got a, a surprise for us. I hope you like it, because I lost a receipt. The Looper Triol recipe, whatever that is. Interesting, whoa, we're battling a bunch of skeletons. <laughs> oh my, there's some other things here. Of course, we didn't actually get your uh, thing. There's so many skeletons, oh my goodness. Uh, how's your job? Wooden rod and planks, thank you. We got a uh, boss hamburger over here. He has uh, wooden rods. I don't know if, yeah, Silas isn't gonna have anything, but we had more friends, they've all ran off. Uh, here you are, Rowan. Um, how's your job? Marble slab and granite slab. Excellent, see, we're doing really good. So I'm really happy about that. Let's figure some things out. Obviously, I'm going to need a whole new chest just to hold this new type of wood. So if we get over this way, I can um, get that built. Ow, can you not? <laughs> These skeletons, I definitely need to start building walls, I guess, around my fortress or something, or around the, the village. Uh, where is the chests? And with this chest, I would need more knot root, which I have some, I just need to go get it. Right over here, um, I will take, here, I'll go ahead and put this stuff in there. And then I will take what I need, which should be about there. Awesome, perfect. Let's just make this so that I can get this set up. What is going on? I'm stuck. And perfect. So yeah, let's go and get all this flex wood in here and then we will try to figure out what we would need to do with it from there, but that was so exciting that we got all that stuff. I definitely need to organize my inventory a little bit, but in general, I think we're good to make some awesome things crafted up here soon. Okay, so now that we've done a great job, I'm gonna take just a stack of flexwood and see what we can do with it. I mean, I think in general, we have more stuff available to us, like the recurve crossbow, whoa, but the rare version, so that's gonna need flexwood rods, drawstring, um, and it looks like, yeah, we have this knight shield available now, which is a simple shield that can be used to block incoming damage strong enough for your average battle. Whoa, so that'll be flexwood rods and cores. I don't know if I'll even bother building this right now because I don't really use the shield very much, but it's mostly things like the pickaxe where we need flexwood rod and sand claw that I'm gonna be putting some effort into getting that. If I move back over here, I got a lot of stuff I gotta take out of here, but um, with the sawmill, over here, we have the new brand, brand new knot root rod, used for crafting building materials and weapons carved from knot root. Um, well, not that, that flexwood, <laughs> an essential crafting item. So let's go ahead and change the recipe and just fill up 50 of them, just like that. All right, excellent. So that is gonna be really good. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can build with it, but I think the things we're really focused on for right now is gonna be like things like the loom. The loom needs flexwood, flexwood rods, and sand claws. So let's make sure that we actually have a decent amount of sand claws, I'll take out 26 of them for now, and uh, just make sure everything is as organized as possible. Okay, looks like I don't have any place for the cords at the moment, so I'll put them here, and then back over here, we already got a couple being made. I'll get out another stack, just because. 
So we're just really doing well with these. And this is, there's a tree growing in my, I don't need this here. Uh, I'm actually really scared that's gonna, wait, the trees are just gonna keep growing through this building? Seriously? Is it because like it didn't destroy the stump or something? Some of these don't even have a stump normally. That's so weird. All right, well, it's a little concerning, but for right now, I don't think it's a problem. Um, we'll see if it ends up being a problem, but Loom, I have everything I need for it, right? No, I need four more flexwood rods, which, what do you know? Now we have that. So I can get back over here, excuse me, Silas, and Loom. So Loom should be good for crafting wool and stuff. We can see that right now. We get the silk fabric common recipe as well as the wool fabric. So that's pretty cool. As you can see here, used for crafting various objects, spun from silk thread, silky smooth, and also wool fabric, fabric it's so fluffy. So with this stuff, I can also get some crafting materials from back over there and get it done. I don't know entirely what we're going to build with it yet, but I definitely need to also make an essence table. So of course with the loom, create objects made of fabric, and then with the essence table, enchant weapons and tools with uniquely powerful essences. I might as well, just so that we have a little bit of everything, I just need the cut amber. So I'm going to get back over here and take this stuff. That should be enough just to get that all figured out. And is there anything else I want here? I mean, for the time being, I guess not. All right, um, what was I making with these? I guess just uh, cords, but I, I don't have enough. So I'll take that. I'm just trying to see, make extra sure, is there anything else I can make here that I haven't really? So far, no, it looks like we're good. Oh, I can make a glider? Whoa, wait, what? How do I make a glider? Uh. Whoa, use the use to glide through the skies from high places, go sky high. For that I need flexwood rod, wool fabric, and silk fabric. So let's try making the silk fabric first. I would need a bunch of silk thread and a small balloon. Uh, interesting, I'm guessing that's for like crafting like toys. Yep, okay, and the large balloon, wow, crazy stuff. Um, so we'll have to make a flying machine at some point or something similar. So I needed silk thread, I think it was. I'll do that and just see for myself, or for myself here. Yeah, okay, so assign. We'll make a bunch of those. And then for the wool fabric, I just need wool thread, which we have a decent amount of. But to make more wool thread, I think I just need to, first off, uh, didn't mean to do that. Here, eat some food really quickly. And then go grab my torch back. I would like to, there we go. Go back over here, take some of these for sure, the cut ambers, we'll be using those soon enough, but make more of the wool thread. Yeah, it's just wool, so I can change the recipe, get that put together, looking good. So we're making lots of stuff now. I wanna make that glider soon for sure, but that might take some time. It might be something we save till next episode. The dynamic foundation. Attach items such as balloons for unique ways to travel by land or sea. That looks really good. Okay, so I definitely wanna do that soon. It looks like we have some more advanced crafting stuff coming, but I need three more cut amber. It takes a long time to get it, but we are getting there. And what about some other crazy stuff? I feel like the other main thing I wanted to make was some of these charms. Wool thread, cut amber, sand shell, sand claw. That's the hardy totem, which when at full health, gains bonus health after a few seconds, keep your guard up. That sounds good. We also have the blue charm, but with this one, I need basically all the other stuff. So we have some good options. I think I'll probably wanna make two of these, right? I mean, this also gives me three health though, right? It seems like this gives me three health and that extra bonus, so why would I even make this if I could just make two of these? I mean, it's just more expensive to make, I suppose? But no, not really. I mean, I need a lot of sand shells. That's the hard thing about that. So maybe I'll make two more health charms because these are actually pretty affordable considering what I currently have. Good to know. Okay, so these are almost done. Do I have enough? I do, I have enough for the essence table. So I will go ahead and build that right down here. Excellent. So, two item recipes, essence of durability. Whoa, hold on. So how does this work? A sturdy ax made from bone is you know something I can make, the forest ax right here. So 
Whoa, so I can make an Essence of Health, increase the chance of enemies dropping healing items when using weapons and tools, or the Essence of Durability. Increase the durability of your weapons and tools. So I can make a really good ax and then add a bunch of durability on top of that. I wouldn't wanna do that with that, but maybe a higher tier thing. I feel like that's stuff I should save for later then. What if I tried a sword? Same options, no matter what I choose, gotcha. So yeah, I don't know actually when I'm going to be using that just because I feel like it might be better to wait for the higher tier stuff. But man, crazy upgrades, right? I should definitely make this new pickaxe though, the um, blue pickaxe. If it's in your way, you can chop it out. So I'll make two of these. Really cool stuff. And I definitely need to save up for more cut amber then. So I know I'm just using up a lot of my amber here, but I should probably just take another 15, 16 of it and get it in the gem cutter. I feel like now the hard part is just finding and grinding up the amber. Okay, so yeah, we've done a pretty good job here. I don't know how much more I wanna do, but I mean, we got our brand new green pickaxe. How crazy is that? So I think that we got a lot of stuff sort of cooking up, being created, I think for now. I'll head back over here. We'll get our flex wood where it needs to be. I'll get the Im or inventory organized a bit more, but we've done all in all a fantastic job today getting everything done. So yeah, definitely if there's anything specific you wanna see me do in the game now with all of our new tools, definitely let me know. But I guess for right now, we just wanna get this all organized. Okay, so I should have enough materials now to make one more of these, right? The forest axe, craft that. And then I think the one last thing I would like to do today is build a enhanced chest again. So just to have it over here for all of the other wool based crafting things. So I need eight knot root, six marble slab. That shouldn't be too big of a deal to do. So I take eight of them and then, what was it here? I'll just take 10. <laughs> I always forget the second one. Um, Here we go and then get that right next to that chest. Very cool, so this is where we're going to put everything relating to the, the loom, I guess. Here, I'll take some of this stuff, because what would I need for this wool thread? So I just put it over here for now, but I can take like a good cluster of that. Very, very cool. Okay, it was silk thread for that, so I guess I could take some of this too. and just pump this stuff in. I actually have more of a use for spider webs now, which is great, because I had so many. So, so many. That goes back in here with the rest of this. And then in here, I wanna put the silk fabric, and then I guess eventually the wool fabric. But for right now, I just need to here, get rid of that. Let's remove, and then get everything in there. That should make I guess just three, but eventually, I guess next episode, we should have a glider. That was fantastic. We did so much in today's episode, but there's so much more to do in the next episode of Lego Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.